You've got a secret? What is it? Oh, yeah. My secret. Well, you're my pal. So I can tell you. But don't let it get out. I've been working for Cannon for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and ten make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? Oh, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? What about Artie McFly? Hasn't he been missing for two months? That's true, and all signs point to a tannin job. Oh god, I've made a horrible mistake! I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back! But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. don't care. It's the lyrics to her song. Party? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? 
Oh, you're gonna love this. So I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley and who do I see? None other than that scrawny subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this, the little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie. Oh no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Junior and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to stop bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then, <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Huh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Emmett. No, no, no time for chit-chat. I've got a rocket car to recover. Edna! What? Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh? What is it? Officer Parker reformed. He has? Really? Uh, soon. Just you wait. Hmm. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Donate to the Clock Tower Fund. What's wrong with the Clock Tower? It's not broken, is it? Not in the slightest. Whew. It's just painfully drab. I'm raising funds to commission a sculptor to place a couple of handsome ornamental statues on either side of the clock face. Something to inspire the citizens to do their civic duty. Something like lions? Or gargoyles. You can't beat a good gargoyle. What's all this? These are my pamphlets. Laying out in scientific detail the horrors visited upon those who succumb to the temptations of alcohol. Lost Fortnite. I am particularly fond of that one. It tells the true life tale of Johnny, who woke up in a pile of his own sick, completely unable to remember the previous two weeks of his life. Heavy. Actually, the pamphlets are quite light, see? Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Things are getting worse, Doc. In order to keep Artie safe, Trixie's gonna destroy her evidence against Tannen. You have to stop her! How? The only thing that would make her turn on Kid now is if she welched on the deal and killed my grandfather. Well, you can't let that happen. Doc, Parker's in worse shape than we thought. We've screwed up his life so bad he's been dumped by Jennifer's future grandmother. Ah! I know. 
Marty, it's more important than ever that you get Officer Parker back on his destined path. If Jennifer never exists, then I'll never take you to 2015 to save your kids. Then old Biff will never... Paradox City, got it. Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Testing, testing. Sibilins, sibilins. Hey, quit playing with my equipment. Sorry. Edna! What? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care, you should care, you should care, what people think of you. Of goals that you could name, reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care, you should care, if your reputation is in disrepair. It's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Welcome back, sir. Looks like Parker's still... parked. I really should give these lyrics to someone who could do them justice. Trixie, look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. I can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. All right. So now what? Now I wait. 
Wait for the moment to take down Kid Tannen, restore my good name, and win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. 